I'm not gonna go looking for. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. I ought to clear a path to open in that door. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay. Here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Uh, the 
keys are on that zombie out on the street. Your it's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh... Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. outside let's have a look around okay think you can do anything with this you know what I could do what's that it's universal I could program it to work with those TVs across the street let's just hope the power is still on you can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doug. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Can't reach that brick. Let's head back inside. Okay. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Hey there. <laughs> This is Glenn, and, uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. 
I could use a jog. Hey there. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. things notice us not yet there's a survivor trapped up there no way we gotta go now listen i was out here looking for gas and then up there in the corner room i heard crying coming from inside who is it it's a girl we talked and she got frightened i was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying i was bitten i tried to convince her i wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest a, a couple almost got me and, and i ended up hiding in the ice machine lucky you now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine, let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Gone and we can't use that much. 